as we mentioned, it's it's your your ten year celebration uh, of being in the industry. Any um, any experiences or uh, rewarding uh, interactions that you've had, or any, anything that you care to share that really stands out uh, over the ten years uh, that you've been in the business? Oh my goodness! Um, yeah, there's been a lot. I'm trying mm-hmm. to pick just one thing. Um, Customer interactions, I mean, just mm-hmm. the relationships you build with your customers. I mean, I still try to go in and and hang out on a Sunday afternoon if I can and, or, you know, just help go around, take the broom around, sweep. Hey, how's everything going? You know, I'm talking mm-hmm. to people. And yeah. when we hire new employees, I try to stress to them, you know, that, that interaction with customers. So, <clears throat> for example, we don't have a vending machine. We have um, a like a convenience store refrigerator with a sliding door. You pick out your own snack and your own um, okay. pop or water and you bring it to mm-hmm. the counter to pay. Right. And that I, number one, there's no parts to break on that. You know, I don't mm-hmm. have a vending machine. I'm fully attended. So, but it promotes that customer interaction mm-hmm. with the attendants. We're not scary people. We're nice people. And, mm-hmm. and they'll take better care of everything as well. So I promote that customer interaction. So I tell them when you're going out on the floor, and you're sweeping, clean the machines off, whatever, interact with customers, ask them, how are they doing? Did everything come out okay for them? Is everything clean and dry like it's supposed to be? Um, things like that. So one thing that does stand mm-hmm. out to me was um, back in the early days when we first opened, Steve and I were working every hour. I mean, we didn't have money for staff. So we brand new, brand new business, right? Put everything we had into that building. In that business, oh, is this going to work or not? So we're working mm-hmm. every hour. I'd come in open, work all day. And then when he gets off work, he would come in and close. So I'm out on the floor and I'm sweeping and I smile and ask me, how's, how's everything going? How's your day going? Mm-hmm. And she had just had this, cause she just looked really sad. And um, she said, I just found out I have cancer this morning. I was like, oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Mm-hmm. So I just put the broom down and sat down and talked to her for a little bit mm-hmm. and prayed with mm-hmm. her and prayed for her. Right. And um, so I, I tell my, I, I try to impart that story to new employees to let them know you might be the only smile that person sees all day. You don't mm-hmm. know what's going on in their life. Mm-hmm. They might have a horrible home life. They might live alone. They might have just found out they had cancer that morning. Right. So right. be nice. It's a laundromat. Right. It's, it's not the emergency room. Nobody's going to die because mm-hmm. something happened to the washer or the dryer or their white mm-hmm. t-shirt. Right. But they might have a lot going on in their life that you can be there for them. And that's part mm-hmm. of the customer service experience. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And, that, and that, that's part of being a, a hub for the community as, as laundromats become more mm-hmm. and more uh, ingrained in the fabric of, of the communities they serve. So uh, yeah. that's, that's a great, that's a great um, yeah. point yeah. and an interesting it's, story. It's a mm-hmm. huge, um, you know, and, yeah. and then from a business perspective, that puts you head and shoulders above everybody else. But it's from customer service, but from a human mm-hmm. perspective, that's what's most important. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Great, uh, great stuff. 